everybody, Noah here from Midwestern Marks, and welcome to another One Minute Marks, the series where we take complicated and tedious to learn concepts from Marxism and break them down into short, easy to digest explanations. So, if you got a minute, let's just get right into today's concept because it is a doozy. Today's concept is dialectical materialism. Now, when we first get into all this stuff, the term dialectical materialism can sound really scary. Almost Bigfoot scary, only not out of focus in every picture. But really, it's not all that scary at all. It makes perfect sense once we get the basics down. That's just how Marxism works, right? It just kind of clicks for you. Like you finally have the words to describe something you felt all along. Uh, when it comes to dialectical materialism, people try to put off learning it sometimes because of that scariness, and they'll try to learn other things first. I know I did like economics or history, but unfortunately all of that other stuff is built on this understanding and foundation and we can easily end up misunderstanding anything else we read if we sort of jump the proverbial gun there. So what is it? What is this dialectical materialism, right? Uh, very simply, it's the study of motion. Less simply, it's the understanding that everything in the universe is matter. And all that matter is defined by its motion, how it moves. Even thought is only advanced matter performing its function and in motion. To quote Frederick Engels, motion is the defining mode of matter. So what we're doing really is trying to understand how things move. We do this through Mar Marx's dialectical method which is really Hegel's philosophical system turned towards materialist ends. And when we analyze any phenomenon in the universe like this, any phenomenon from water to plants to society itself, which is what we focus on in Marxism, Marxism looks at it according to the defining mode Engels points us to. It's motion, and we try to figure out what drives that motion. And when we do this, we discover that inside any phenomenon are two interdependent and contradictory aspects. They used to call it interpenetrating, right? And the struggle or struggle between these two aspects of the phenomenon is what creates the motion of that phenomenon, what causes it to change. So a little sprout struggling against a hard shell in the ground that is a dialectical study of the revolution of the birth of a plant. Uh, we also apply one more important aspect to the basics here. Interconnection. That everything in the universe is connected and things affect and are in turn affected by each other. Our little plant friend, it's affected by its relationship with the dirt that it's in, right? And how much sunlight it gets. And it in turn affects that. Um, the dirt itself even has a process, and these things affect each other, right? Marxism applies this dialectical materialist outlook and a specific methodology, which I'm happy to answer any questions on down in the comments if you have any, to society. That is what gives it its greater insights than the older liberal mode of thought. Um, and that's just about it, a basic overview. There's a lot to this. But when we begin to think in dialectical materialist terms, the entire world opens up for us. And things just make so much more sense. Have a good one, everybody, and happy May Day.